Hey everyone, real quick I wanted to make a video to share a few things with you um, that I did over the weekend. Um, first of all, what you're staring at is um, my Project Life organization. Um, I went to Michael's on Saturday, no Friday, and picked up another one of these compartment things that they have. They're $12.99 and I used the 40% off coupon. I already had this one. So I picked up this one and anyways I'm going to bring them forward a little bit so you can see what I put in them. So basically now I have my pens at my disposal. Um, what was right there before was my containers of my Copics and I haven't really been using them too much lately. So I went ahead and moved those to a different location so I can have this more at my fingertips. This is just some like um, cards that are dated with months. There's a couple of um, cute little stamps that I want to put throughout my project life so I just included them in here. I got these on my haul with Nicole. And then there's a few um, Banana Fish Studios ones in there. And then here's some of my Banana Fish Studios um, journaling cards. I put the Polaroids in here. I think those would be fun in there. And I put this little screen print thing that I can miss with Mr. Huey's. And then I have my Becky Higgins graph journal cards in here. And then in this one right here, I have my new neon flowers that Vanessa sent me, which I love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have a couple of um, quick cuts that I want to use in my project life, so I don't want to forget that I have those. And then these um, Hambleys that also... Vanessa sent me, so thank you so much. I, I really want to use them, so I wanted them, you know, up front. And then um, in the back, I have my neon tags, my neon stickers, and then over here, I just have some journaling spots and some labels and stuff. Um, let me pull. Out. I have a whole bunch of them in here that I can use. And um, I don't know what you guys do with your packaging, but I saw on the back of the Studio Calico wood veneers, um, they print this, the, you know, the little wood veneer shapes on a wood grain background on the back of their packaging, so I just kept them all. So I'll be utilizing those somewhere. Just some plain white tags, um, some jelly bean soup labels. I have some of my mind's eye in here too, some more just labels and some packaging, some other packaging that I'm going to use, like this thing has little graph packaging, I'm going to use that. Some L Studio stuff that I can cut out. My Martha Stewart um, labels, which you can't really tell the shape there, but I have these camera fabrics that I want to use, so I kind of stuck them there. And then I have the Hambleys that Vanessa sent me that are black. I have the camera mistables that Tiffany shared with me. Thank you, Tiffany. And then back here I have Studio Calico rub-ons and these craft stickers, which I can't get enough of. I definitely have to order more. Some of the notebook and wood grain butterflies. And then some craft journaling paper there. And then I have a couple of my doodle bug twine. Some of these labels that I got from Knot and Bow. I have some neon um, floss my paper whimsy stuff, my photo corners, and this little thing right here that I love using. It's vinyl. So that's mostly what I tend to grab when I'm doing my project life. So I have that all set up. And then on the right over there is my cat scrappiness stuff for the month when I'm still making stuff for her. And then I changed my, I had to upgrade my flare container. So that's sitting there too because I use that a lot. And then in here, since I moved most of my Banana Fish Studios and Evilicious stuff to the bigger one, I still have a few things right here, a few small things, and then I have the badges separate. But this is where I keep all my wood veneers now, and a couple of them are mixed together. Um, like this one is the cameras and the people. This one is just the houses. This one is the stars, which um, I just used a bunch of them on a project. I love these. These are the arrows and the hearts, and then this one is the journey. So actually this one is mixed up. So anyways, I use these a lot too, so definitely want them to, at my fingertips. So anyways, um, that's my new little setup right there for my project life. 
Um, it, you know, it might change even more as I move on, but, and I start to use stuff and, and that starts to look empty, but I think this will work for me for now. Also, when I was at Michael's, I picked up a few stamps and these really cute felt owls. Isn't they cute? Super cute. I love how, like, they're little chubby owls. Anyways, I got this stamp. Let's do lunch. I got this chevron stamp. I got your some kind of wonderful. I got remember to smile today. Snail mail. And hello love. I love this one. This is what I call my sweetie, so. I had to get that one. Okay. And then um, finally, um, I did three more pages of my Project Life that I wanted to share, so let me go ahead and take those out. Um, oh, let me show you something else as far as organization is concerned as well. I noticed that um, I forget to put in like little memorabilia stuff, like a receipt or what else? Make sure there's nothing on here. Okay, like this is a perfect example. Like, also for Valentine's Day, my boyfriend surprised me with um, Breaking Dawn um, Blu-ray. That was the day that it came out, um, the 13th. Not the 13th. It was the 11th. I'm sorry, the 11th. But he also surprised me. That was the day I went to Stamp Fest with Nicole, and he gave me money to buy some stuff, scrapbooking stuff. And then when I got home from Nicole's, it was so late, I had called him and said, oh no, I forgot to stop at you know Best Buy or whatever and get the Breaking Dawn DVD. I wanted to get it. And he was like, oh, well, we'll go tomorrow. And when I got home, it was already there for me. So, um, And I didn't document that. And that was part of my Valentine's Day present. I totally forgot. So um, I just made myself a little note right here. And I put a little, little um, page protector from the Simple Stories. Because I also um, got something from Sherry for Valentine's Day that I forgot to put in there too that I had taken pictures of. So there's a few more things in here that I'm going to document. And also over the weekend we went and saw Safe House. And I had these movie tickets so I'll be putting that in there. And then, oops sorry, I think that's all. Yes, there's a few more back here. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. Oh yeah, like there's some, like some of the packaging and stuff that I've been getting. So, yeah, there, there's like movie tickets and stuff. So, anyways, I've been putting, separating them by, by weeks um, to put my little memorabilia in because I don't want to forget to add that if I want, if I so choose. You know, I don't have to put everything in there, but... I would like the option and I didn't like that I was forgetting to do that so anyways that's just a small thing okay so moving on to the project life so we ended with um, my simple stories week of March 17th so here and then the eight and a half by eleven page so now I'm going to continue on with the page that I want to put right here which is going to be this. Okay, so um, this this is using the Simple Stories Jean Grid paper, um, but I didn't use the Simple Stories papers for the layouts. I used the We Are Memory Keepers pet stack, a little six by six that I had gotten. I thought the colors went perfectly with the Simple Stories, so I just included them. It's called Friends Forever. So that's what I used for that and so this is March 15th and this documents when my dog um, had her last shots so um, here's a picture of some of the girls at the the vet and here's she, she, I always take pictures of her walking around the room looking looking around and I she used those glittery thickers again the Liberty these are some thickers I picked up when I was with Nicole uh, I can't remember the font um, Eric is the font and then there's the studio calico stars and I put those all over the page I used a little 
um, Flare right here with the little doggy in the doghouse. This was a little dog named Princess that Bella met um, on our way out. And then um, this is a Becky Higgins graph journaling card. This is a cat scrappiness um, little puppy felt embellishment that I just put some bling on for her collar. And then I wrote a little thing right here basically talking like I was the dog. It says, today I got my last set of shots. Yay. Now I can go to the doggy park with my BFFs, Freddie, Gracie, and, and Cleo. I love to play with other dogs. I can't wait to go. So, um, and then this is just a her last appointment card from the vet. It had the address on it, so I covered it up. And then down here, I took this picture of her one day when I was in my scrap room, and she just looks so pretty just sitting there, so cute, looking up at me. I'm telling you, she's like totally photogenic. <laughs> when I pull my phone out, she's like ready to s smile or something, I don't know. And um, I just put such a pretty puppy and I put pretty girl right here and I used the Jenny Bowen punch. This is a Martha Stewart label that I just did some faux stitching around. And this stamp right here, it says dogs are really people with short legs and fur coats. This is from um, a stamp set that I recently got in a rack from Wendy from Wendy's Creative Corner. And this is a stamp set that I used right here. So thank you so much, Wendy. I'll definitely get a lot of use out of that. <laughs> and then this one right here is another one of her toys. I think I mentioned this in another video, but pretty much almost, almost every time I go to the store, I buy her a toy. I don't know why, but I guess it's like children, you know, just... I want to get a little something for them every time I go out. Anyway, so this is a chicken that I picked up at Walmart. And it's just a plastic squeaky chicken. It's usually in my scrap room. You usually can hear it squeaking in the background when I'm making a video. She's not with me right now, though. And um, I call it her chicken. I don't know why, but I think it's funny. So I just put the chicken, and then um, I put right here some washi, and it says her only toy that's still alive because all her other little toys she likes to rip the stuffing out of or rip the pieces off of and then they don't squeak anymore so anyways and then right here here's a little um, chicken right here by Lizzie so whenever it's by Lizzie she's afraid to get it she's afraid of Lizzie <laughs> and then here she is trying to jump up on me she wants me to play and throw it and then I just put Bella loves her chicken and then some more stars and I um, did the background right here with some Mr. Huey's in the opaque white and the tumble dry in the red. So I did that. And then the back page is March 18th through the 24th. And for this page, I used some October afternoon papers from an older line. Uh, I think it was Splash. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's from last year. But, anyways, so. I used the new thickers that um, Vanessa sent me, so thank you so much, Vanessa. These are like a glittery yellow. And then here's just some regular thickers that I had be from before that I had in the haul. And then I actually took three pictures of her in a row when she was sitting here. And the other picture wasn't lined up right and it didn't come out right, so I just put two here. But she sat here perfectly looking up at me in like the exact same position for me to be able to take three pictures of her. It was funny. She just such a ham. So I just put sitting pretty and I put the date and here's one of the little bit, um, flares. And then um, here's my boyfriend tickling her belly on the couch. Here, here, here I am tickling her belly. She loves her belly to be rubbed. So I just put belly tickles here. This is a little October afternoon sticker that says play all day. And then this is some food that I made with some sauces that Sherry sent me from Japan. So it's like a stir fry and then um, this is a little rice that I, what did I use to make that scoop? A bowl, a bowl I think. And then um, these are some like seasoning things that you put on top of rice that she sent me. Um, my boyfriend loves them, they're really good. And then right here I used one of those knot and bow um, stickers and it just says Bella was biting again so we had to put her muzzle on so we put her muzzle on her there. And then over here is um, some pictures of her sitting on my lap outside on my front porch. I just think that she looks really pretty. And um, this is a journaling card that Nicole gave me. She had double, so thanks, Nicole. And it just says, coming home, and I just wrote, Bella gets so excited when Daddy comes home from work. Sometimes we sit out on the front porch to enjoy the day and wait for Daddy to come home. Um, so that was what we were doing March 21st. And then March 22nd, um, I just put a little ticket here that Tiffany sent me in a rack. Thank you, Tiffany. 
says my obsession with bugs continues. There was a really pretty grass, not grasshopper, oh my gosh, dragonfly on the house and then it flew over here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on this leaf. It was like a lime green color with a um, black and white striped body. It was really cool looking, so I took a picture of it while I was walking the dog. <laughs> and then here are our tickets to go see The Hunger Games, which I haven't read the book, but you know, the hype about the movie was so big we wanted to go check it out. So I just wrote here that I purchased opening night tickets for The Hunger Games at 7.30 a.m. on Fandango and one showing was already sold out. So it was a good thing that I had logged on so early instead of waiting to get to the movie theater to buy the tickets because um, they were already selling out at 7.30 in the morning. And then here is um, from Friday. Um, Marcus's futon was delivered for his man cave slash office. He was very happy. He picked it out all on his own. He, yes, he went to the store and picked this out with the cover all by himself. And it's a really nice one. It's got drawers underneath. And when you sit, he got the extra... I don't know, upgraded mattress or whatever. So when you sit on it, it doesn't even feel like a futon. It feels like a couch. And this was the 23rd. And I just put it looks really nice in his room. And then we move on to this page, which this is the back page. So it's from that October afternoon um, summertime collection. I can't think of the name. But anyways, I love this stripe colored paper so much that I just cut it up into the little pieces and... Um, pretty much made it look like one whole full page like I did with the jean page. And so up here at the top, this is continuing on with March 18th through the 24th. Up at the top, um, this is Bella looking under the fence for her BFF, Clo Cleo, I always say Chloe, it's Cleo. And I don't know if you can see, but here's Cle Cleo's little paws under there. So they play under the fence together um, sometimes, and I just put what's up. And then right here um, is another one of Bella's toys. It's um, a pink squeaky toy, and it's in the shape of a bear, and we think it looks like a giant pink gummy bear. So right here for this caption for this picture, I said, Mommy, please play with me and my gummy bear. So she's trying to make me get it from her so I could throw it. And then after all that playing, she starts to get tired, and then she fell asleep. Right here, she's passed out, knocked out. And then here is a picture of Lizzie playing with her purple mouse, which in a later um, page from Project Life you will see what happened to this mouse. Poor thing. <laughs> Bella found it. And um, there she is holding it. And it's right there. And then there she is kicking it. Like I was saying with the froggy, she liked to do that with the mouse too. She'd kick it and then she'd cuddle with it. And then here is another journaling card from that same set that Nicole gave me. And this is a sticker from October afternoon. This is a picture of my mom and I. And I just wrote the date in the cloud. And then I just wrote basically that uh, my mom and I like to go garage sailing. And that we've been doing it since I was a kid. Uh, we always find a great item at a great price. But spending time with my mom is what I love most. And that my mom took a vacation day for us to hang out. And then here is uh, I put deal of the day and a little arrow there and um, I bought these California closets organizers um, and my mom <laughs> talked the lady down for two for 35 they were two for 40 but my mom talked her down so now those are in my closet and one is for me and one is for Marcus and it looks so organized I'm gonna get more it looks so good and while we were out driving around we saw a mama duck and her like eight little babies I don't know if you can see them but they're like right there and so this was another journaling card from that set that Nicole gave me. So I got a lot of use out of that, Nicole. Thank you so much. And I just put, we saw Mama Duck and her babies. And then I saw another mommy and a daddy bird family. Um, I just journaled here that this is a family of heron that lives in our neighborhood. And that they recently had two little babies. And this is going to be a sad story too because later on I took a picture of the family and there's only one baby left. But anyways, this is a, another cat scrappiness um, project with the balsa wood cloud, and I sprayed it with Mr. Huey's opaque white and Mr. Huey's heirloom blue, and I love the way it looks. I mean, it looks like sky, but it's still in a cloud shape. I love it. It looks so fun. And then this is an October afternoon sticker that says, it's one of those days for taking a walk outside, so I thought that was cute. And then here's Bella with her BFFs, which are our neighbor's dogs. So um, this sticker is from that same October afternoon collection. It says, my best friend with a little dog 
So I just add a little apostrophe and an S and it says the dogs and who they are. And Cleo is a certain breed of dog that I can never remember the name of. And that's her right there. She's got like a little curly tail. I don't know what kind of dog. I always forget the name of it. It starts with a B. And then this is just another sticker, another sticker. This is Gracie. She's a puggle. Here's Freddie. He's a boxer. And um, I broke Bella is such a social dog. She loves everyone and loves other dogs. She would always flip over on her back to make friends. So she doesn't do it so much anymore. But as soon as she saw a dog coming, she would flip over um, on her back. She's a very submissive dog. She's very um, non-aggressive. So um, she's made friends with so many dogs and so many people in the neighborhood because she's so sweet. But there she is right there. She's the littlest dog. But now Freddie has a little brother. And they're about the same size now, but of course he's going to be bigger. He's going to get this big. But right now, him and Bella are the same size. So, Anyways, those are my pages that I did. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed my little organization tip for Project Life. Um, and my little haul that I did. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye.